So, better hash. Are profits up with the latest update? Well, let's find out. Shane here, CryptoFish YouTube channel. So today we're going to go over the latest version of better hash. We're going to see if profits are up and down. And we'll just look into the latest tweaks that they did to the latest version of better hash. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell below. And in the cryptocurrency space, almost two years now, doing speculative coin mining, comparison mining videos, update videos, and of course, Bitcoin Fridays, where I give away Bitcoin every Friday. And today just happens to be Friday, where I will be giving away Bitcoin at the end. So stick around for that. All right, so let's get into Better Hash. For those of you who don't know what Better Hash is, it's basically a piece of software you download to your computer. It'll go through and see what kind of graphics cards you have, and it will find the best algorithm to mine according to what kind of graphics cards you have and it'll convert it into Bitcoin, or you can keep it into various altcoins that it has on its site. So all you would have to do is click download, take you over to this download page right here, and just read through this real quick, agree to it. You would have to type yes in here, and then you would click download, and it would download the latest version, which is right here. Now I've already done that, and I have it on my NVIDIA rig. So let me log in here real quick. All right, so here we are logged in, and it is running right now. Only a dollar fourteen a day is what it's showing right now. Got a 1066 gig, 1070 Ti, and two 1660 Ti's, so it should be doing better than that. So if we go over to Modify Settings, click on Miners, and then you would click on GPU, CPU Miners, and these are the algorithms that it chose to mine with. It's not very accurate, at least in my experience here, the last, at least with this latest version. I know there's different things that you can do here. Let me click out of here. So you can click on advanced, and they got different detection types. Detection one, two, three. I've tried one, didn't have a really good feeling about it. Tried two, same thing. It's detecting the GPUs wrong, only in certain cases. So if we go back over to here, miners, and we'll go over to what to mine, and we'll check these out one by one. So let's see what the 1070 Ti, according to what to mine. I know this isn't the end-all, be-all, but so of the things it could mine, let's scroll down. Ravencoin should be about the best right now. So if we go back over here. It's got me on Ethereum Classic. So let me switch that to Ravencoin. Now remember, it was taking, it was about $1.13 before. So I'm going to switch these around and do it myself and see what happens. So let me go back up, remove that, 1066 gig, and go to Calculate. And we will scroll down. Ethereum Classic, what did it choose? It chose Raven. So let's switch that over to Ethereum Classic. And the 1660 Ti's, let's see what it chooses for those. And then we'll see if we get a better result, better than $1.13. Of course, at the end of the day, it matters how many Satoshis you actually get, which is why I do my Minor Cup series. But just on the surface here. Okay, so Ravencoin, top coin to mine that would be able to be mined with better hash right now. So let's me, let me switch that over to Raven. It's already got one on Raven. So let me switch this over to Raven. Then I will click Apply. And it should restart everything. And of course my CPU is mining Monero. Like I said, once you download this, I put it in its own folder, which is right here, in case any of you guys are new. I always put it in its, the versions in their own folder. So you would just go into here and just double click on setup, and then I have it saved all into the same folder. So when you want to go down later on and compare versions, you could just click on that right there. And of course, it'll download all the miners and everything. 
and get going. So let me take a look. 40 cents. So it's going to build up a little bit. So if you want to download, speaking of miners, if you want to download the latest version of miners, here we are, general. Redownload all miners, and that'll just update all the miners if there are any updates. And let's go back over to the home, see what we got. Dollar sixteen, it was a dollar thirteen. So really, not too much of a difference. So it's pretty low right now, better hash. Other miners like Kudo Miner is doing a lot better than Better Hash. Even Nice Hash is doing more than that. So maybe their latest updates, maybe they're, I know that they had quite a few updates back to back. It's building up a little bit right here. If I go into my folder right here and go to Better Hash, this version I just downloaded yesterday. And they've already updated again. So maybe they're doing some tweaking here and there to their well now it's up to a dollar twenty six so it is getting better maybe it's just taking a little bit to spool up so we'll let that go for a little bit now here's the back office right here once you create an account this is what it looks like and it shows you all your shares and everything they have this little new icon here called easy swap and if you click on that it'll take you over to here it's like their new in-house exchange where you can just swap crypto with anyone who wants to trade with you and right now they've only got ethereum for btc xmr for btc xmr to eth xrp to btc and xrp to ethereum and vice versa so looks like it's kind of early in its early stages i'm sure they will be adding different exchanges as they go forward because you can mine zcash ethereum ethereum classic dash bitcoin gold raven grin and xmr on here as, as well so i would imagine they will be implementing that in the future you head back over to the miner so dollar 28 so when i set it myself it looks like it gave me about 15 cents i guess that's better than nothing so maybe they're still working some kinks out with this latest version but we'll see that's why i do my minor cup series which i've actually got two new miners i'm looking at now so when i do that series here in probably in the next three weeks to a month i'll have a total of i think six miners that i'll be comparing right now but anyways that's in the future for a future video got those miners that i'm looking at i should have a video on each of those coming out here in the next few days or so so be on the lookout for that all right so we're sitting at a dollar 26 so let's go ahead and pick a winner for Bitcoin Fridays. All right, so head over to my website. Here we go. It's my latest video, Ryo Coin Mining Guide. If you missed that, it should be popping up at the end of this video. But here is the Enter to Win contest page. And if I scroll down, you can see giveaway has ended pending a winner. So let's go into the back office right here. Here it is, Bitcoin Fridays 8919 at a total of 273 contestants with a total of 1,932 entries. You can get many more entries, like I said in the other video, for sharing the content, liking me on social media, following me on social media, watching videos, etc. That's how you get more entries. So, let me go over to Manage Giveaway. And all I got to do is hit this little button right here, draw. So, like always, if you did not win, I can do this again next week, so don't worry about it. Just make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell on this video, and you'll be good to go. So, let's hit draw. Good luck, guys. Okay, Pamela. Appears as though Pamela has won, has confirmed her email address. So, Pamela, I'm going to confirm you as the winner of this week's Bitcoin Fridays. And now I'm going to notify you. So, once you get that email, Pamela, make sure you just respond with your Bitcoin wallet address. And I will send you over this week's winning, which is $20 in Bitcoin. All right. Congrats, Pamela. Thank you for playing. Thanks, everybody, for playing. This was a success 273 contestants um hopefully we get a lot more next week and you guys hope you guys enjoyed it
All right. So that, guys, it's going to be the end of this video, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.